smells so good. Hey everybody, I am back. It is me and Mr. Handsome Vegas today. Um, I first of all want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, your beautiful, kind words have meant so much to me. This is an uncharted territory for me and my life. I've never experienced such um, heartache before in my life. You know, my brother was my everything. He was my cheerleader, my motivator, and we constantly did that for each other, and we spoke every day. Um, so I'm asking um, for your continued words of encouragement. Um, God continues to give me strength every day, and our family have been supporting each other on a daily basis and one of the things that my sweet niece said to me the other day because she wants me to continue to take this journey with you just like her dad and uh, she said to me the other day Jack I'm Jackie I know I love I see your videos when you do a uh, perfume reviews and I think you need to do one of those next so I promised her that that's what I'm gonna do next so I just found out that Clive Christian just came out with a new perfume. There's supposed to be two, two different versions, uh, a sweet and I think and a spicy. So I'm going to go to Bird Offs today um, to uh, see what it smells like. I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to give you my honest personal opinion about both versions and then I'll let you know how you're able to try it um, for less or possibly free. Um, before taking a plunge and buying it, uh, buying it right out at Bird Off. So anyway, let's go together. Come on now. I'm taking you with me. We're going to Bird Off. So that's the feminine. Okay, so the feminine. Okay. What's the? What are the main notes to it? Okay, it is um, uh, saffron to begin okay. with. Okay. It is orange blossom, I believe, and it is honey in the base. Okay. I definitely I smell the saffron and the and the orange blossom. But all together it has two hundred and thirty-four different notes. Okay. So of course very, very complex. Okay. And, and then now it's we very are going pretty, okay. Because the two that I have are X and I have what's the original? Eighteen seventy two. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so 1872 is very citrusy. Okay. The masculine, this one, is very citrusy as well. Okay. It has uh, both uh, mandarin, petty green. Okay. And the top one is wow, one. Just which one? The masculine. The masculine. Okay. Yeah. I know the true test is trying it on, so I'm going to mm -hmm. do that. But I wanted to smell them first before I try them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to try on this feminine. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it's more interesting, it's a little bit more complex in my opinion. Okay. Even though I'm sure that the masculine has a lot of notes as well because Absolutely. it has okay. It has hundred and ninety-five notes. Okay. So of course it's complex, but right. somehow it's very, very citrusy. Right. And although you call it masculine, I don't feel it's like too masculine. Right. Because typically when you say masculine to me I think of like, like tobacco. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So like or she, Yeah, but yeah. I don't I don't smell it. Smoke, okay, no. So I I still think they're both unisex. Yeah. Right. Okay. And Clarkfishan specifically doesn't want anybody to think of anything as a feminine or a masculine. Okay. Even though we call it feminine and masculine. smells so good. I am wearing a Giorgio Armani Privé Collection Limited Edition. I wore it all day today because I want to go home and tell you about it, my personal thoughts, my opinions, and all the wonderful specific details about it. So stay tuned and let's go home and I'm going to fill you in. See you soon. Hey everybody, before I get into the perfumes that we chose for you today, I thought I would just do a quick outfit of what I had on today. And I was going after a semi-business casual outfit today. So I have on a, a white tunic blouse, as you can see. I have on my little white tank Michael Stars um, tank top that you guys know I wear all the time. And I have on a pair of cropped tan pants with some oldie but goodie um, 
Louboutin peak toe pony hair flat that I've had for years that I actually got off of eBay. And I finished it off with my stack here, my leather cuff by Fendi, my men's side um, bracelet here, and then just a gold link bracelet that I got from TJ Maxx, a Chanel pen, and the handbag that I carry today was my Celine luggage tote uh, in e -tope. So that was my outfit of the day. So now let's get into the perfumes. Everybody, I forgot to actually show you what sunglasses I was wearing today. Um, in the little clip, I was wearing my light blue Oliver People sunglasses, which you guys know is a big favorite of mine. So that's what the sunglasses were. So now let's dig into the perfume. So you saw me share with you a quick review of the new Clive Christian perfume. I was actually in Birdoff's. That's where I had to go to find it. Um, my local Neiman Marcus did not have it in stock. And it is the 20th edition that just came out. And they had two different scents. As you can tell from the interview that I had um, with the wonderful sales associate, there was a sweet and spicy. The Actually, the sweet is actually they designated that one for a masculine and the spicy is what they designated for a female go figure but i will say the um the sweet for the masculine was more of a fruit based smell um compared to the spicy um but here 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 is my opinion at the end of the day if you're already wearing Hold on one second, let me grab it for you. If you're wearing 1872 by Clyde Christian, I probably would just stick to it. Uh, and if you don't have it, then definitely give give one of this new scents a try. Um, you know, they're, they're really expensive perfumes in my opinion. So I think that you definitely have to try it and definitely make sure that you love it um, because of, of the expense of what these fragrances are. So for me, um, I am not going to buy either one of these because of, I don't think for me, they smell better than the 1872. So I'm just going to keep wearing the 1872 for the moment and let's just see whatever comes out in the future. But I wanted to bring it to your attention um, because I wanted you to try it and because it's limited edition, when they sell out of the 20th edition, then they're no longer going to be making this one compared to some of the other classics like 1872 or X by Clive Christian. So I wanted to let you know so you definitely don't want to miss it if you're looking for something new. Now, here's what happened. I have only planned really to just do a quick review on that particular one. Um, and as you guys know, due to my personal situation, I haven't really been in the mood to um, do shopping, but my wonderful niece, as I said, knew that um, looking for fragrances put a, put a smile on my face. So what I did was I actually stopped into my local Neiman Marcus um, just to say hello to my wonderful friend, Miss Ellen, at the fragrance counter and just wanted to get, I think I was wanted to get a candle and she shared with me that she had some new things that she really wanted me to try. And so I said, you know what, what the heck, let me just incorporate this into the video because she found some really, really beautiful things. And so I am actually going to title this, um, Jackie slash Miss Ellen picks for you because I really think what she picked for you to, to consider uh, for going into fall is really, really fabulous. So first thing I'm going to share with you is, or second one because we just went over Clyde Christian. So the second one I'm going to share with you is the Giorgio Armani Privé. It's a new limited edition. They're only making, I want to say it's either 1300 or 1600 bottles. They already made them. And when they're sold out, they are sold out. So it is truly a limited edition. So here's a picture of what the bottle looks like. And some of you may have seen this in some of their recent ads. Um, so she wanted me to give that one a try. Just when I thought Clive Christian already had one of the most expensive product lines, I'm like, seriously? Giorgio Armani, this Privé costs more than Clive Christian. Go figure, but it does. Um, I will say, so this is what I've been wearing all day and I absolutely love it. Now, how does it smell? What does it smell like something similar? So I'm going to, going to pick up again the Clive Christian. For me, I think it's very, very similar category as this. And how um, Armani best described it, I'm going to put on my glasses, sticking with my whole business casual theme. Um, so they 
best described it as this. And I think this is spot on for me because this is a category that I absolutely love when I'm looking for fragrances and they call it a floriental musky. So that is how they best describe uh, this Armani Privé collection. And some of the top notes are, it's, it's warm by the hearts of Jasmine, absolute. Crisp, woody base notes create an oriental and sensual aroma. And actually, I have a correction here. So it's actually 1,300 bottles uh, that they have made worldwide, and then that is it. So um, so if you have a chance, I definitely would um, give it a try. I am going to see if I'm able to get um, this bottle before it sells out. But if I cannot, I did go online, I did go on eBay. You guys always know I'm trying to find ways to save as well. And um, there is uh, someone selling the little small samples of it for $24. So if you definitely want to invest in spending the $24 first before you invest this other large amount for the full bottle, I definitely recommend that as well. So I'll put the, the eBay posting as well that I found um, online. So anyway, so that is the Armani Privé collection and it's spelled L-A-G-U-E is the name of that particular scent. Now, here is another one that Miss Ellen picked for you guys and it is by Valentino. Now, I will say the Valentino one, they call this one Donna and uh, they call it Donna Born. And the main notes of this one is Jasmine, which, which brings a luxurious femininity blended with vanilla bourbon and uh, gives great synergy um, for Rome Street culture. So I would say it is actually a, I only have the sample here, but it's a beautiful, sensual, sweet, soft scent. If you have either Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, or if you have C by Giorgio Armani, it to me falls in that particular category. So if you love those two fragrances, I definitely would try the um, Donna by Valentino. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I definitely think I'm going to purchase that one myself. Um, I'm gonna check and see you know, if it comes in lotions and creams and other things like that. But in the meantime, definitely give that one try. Here's a, let me see, we went through three so far, right? I have two more for you. The fourth one I'm going to share with you. Um, this one is a Creed. I would say it's an oldie but goodie, and it is the Aventus. There's been three different versions of the Aventus that came out. And so you want to ask for the most recent version of the Aventus. And what I also recommend, which I thought was pretty cool, it comes in a oil format, a spray oil, um, which actually will be a little less cheaper than buying the fragrance. Um, for me, I do love buying body creams and oils and things like that. So I thought that was pretty cool and unique that this actually came in an oil spray. So um, the Aventus. Definitely unisex. I want to say everything I've shared with you so far is definitely unisex. Uh, the only one that may not be could be potentially the Valentino uh, Donna, but the previous three are definitely unisex. And the very last one I'm about to share with you also is unisex. So it is definitely for everybody. And the last one I want to share with you is another Armani Privé. And that one is the, they call it R R G. Orange, orange Venus. <laughs> I'm sure it's pronounced another way, but Orange Venus. And the best way they give you a description of this, it's a precious orange flower, absolute, um, crisp and tangible radiance adorned with cedar wood, drying down to reveal a lasting exuberance as it rests on your skin. So, and the top note is orange, middle note is flower, and the base is absolute. So that would be the fifth one that I would recommend for you to try. And what Miss Ellen and I decided we would do is we wanna do this for you on a monthly basis. So we chose these five for you today because we definitely think starting now, September and October and November, these are absolutely gorgeous. You know, as we transition from some of the soft, lighter scents and transitioning into the fall. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous and I know I'm going to do my best to try to purchase 
two out of these five uh, in the next couple of weeks. So that is what I have for you guys today. Let me know if you have any of these, if you think you're going to try any of these. And if you do get to the store and you're in the Pennsylvania area, do not miss meeting Miss Ellen. She is fantastic. Fantastic. And if you want her to send anything to you as well, I am going to include all of her information below. She is absolutely a beautiful person inside and out. I am so lucky and thankful to know her and for her to be a part of my life because she just inspires me. Um, every time I see her, she's just a warm, sweetheart of a person. And if you don't have a sales associate, you definitely want to know Miss Ellen. She is fantastic. So we're definitely going to bring this to you every month. She's going to um, put some really great things to the side so we can definitely bring you some of the latest, greatest, and some of the newest things for you to try if you're not sure where to start. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye-bye.